This is a Love Life Horoscope Terry reading for Virgo from June 9th to June 23rd, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? That card wanted to come up. Strength card reversed. Four of Pentacles upright. And the Page of Pentacles upright. There's a, there's a person in your energy that, that you ascribe a lot of value to. Like you, you see a lot of potential in them. But neither of you are really giving much into this connection. Like that this person, It's almost like they want they want to be submitted somehow. Does that make sense? Like they, they want you to to tame them. And you see value in them, but but Somehow you're not putting in the effort. Let's clarify strength in reverse. For them. Waiting. For you. Hard work. Like they're, they're, they want you to put more work into this. They want you to show them how much value they have. They're waiting to submit to you. But in these next two weeks, it's like you're not, you're not putting in the effort. You're holding back. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see what they say. What does your love interest think of most often when they think of you? Five of Wands. Page of Swords, reversed. And the Devil, Temptation. So you, you tried tempting this person. They, they saw that. There is a lack of fairness, a lack of communication to see fairness and all they can they really think about it is, is the conflict between you. Like they definitely have feelings here for you with, you know, with waiting and the strength in reverse. But, but it's, it's like all they can think about is the conflict. Will the love interest contact you in the next two weeks? The hermit reverse. They're coming out of isolation. The Ten of Wands upright. And the Four of Wands upright. They will be influencing you with what they're doing, with, with some sort of project they're putting all their effort into. Like they're coming out of isolation, like they found an understanding, a way of reaching you, because you know that it's, this is a real connection that you have with this person. Like this, the 1111 card is a twin flame indicator. It's, it's that shared purpose, that focus that two people have on the same goal. It's like the soul contract. You feel that here, and they've been enlightened to what they need to do to, to try to influence you. 
Let's clarify this 11-11 card. For them, friendship. For you, goodness. So this is really good energy here. But I feel you're still very stubborn. Like you, you want them to do something more. <laughs> like you want them, you want them to be just up front, up front with you. But you see, you see how there's a tie here with with what you're doing and what they're trying to do. Like you, you see it as an act of friendship. You feel good about what they're doing, but you want more. <laughs> what are the love interests or how can you get this love interest the next question is what is the love interest current feelings for you but we've already done that in the all signs video that I posted earlier today next question how can you get this love interest to like you even more they want to submit to you <laughs> Ten of Cups, they see a future with you. They, they fantasize about there is something to share. So you haven't been communicating to this person and this person is already fantasizing about a happy ever after with you, but they need you to share with them. Stop holding back your communication. What is this happy ever after that they're fantasizing? For them? Experience? For you? Notoriety. It's almost like you're holding back because this connection could become notorious. Or perhaps that's why they've been holding back from you. Like they, they have experience. There's an element here of notoriety. So if things go south in this connection, a lot of people would know about it. That's why they want you to share with them. So they get an understanding of what you're thinking. Perhaps they've had an experience where they thought someone was meant for them before and it didn't turn out well and it created a situation that they didn't want to be in, a situation that was very public and embarrassing. but they feel this happy ever after with you. They just need you to show some interest. How will this love interest affect your life? Ten of Swords? The King of Swords? And the Queen of Cups. There's definitely an old way of thinking that's coming to an end. A new cycle is about to begin. And I feel it's from your person. Like, like that they're going to give up this, this negative thought pattern. And you're going to be able to, to offer that, that logical communication. It's like there will be such communication between you, like such good communication that <laughs> that it's it's not it, it's unlike you've ever had with anybody else like the, like that's how well you you both have the ability to communicate to each other but this person will will be letting go of some thought patterns in order for this communication to start working the way it should. And you've been missing somebody like this in your life. Like, like you, you've always want, 
wanted somebody like this. They're going to affect your heart. They're going to, they're going to fill your heart with a lot of happiness. I don't even know what kind of siren that is. Is that a fire siren? <laughs> but yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna give you a lot of happiness. You're gonna open up. There's gonna be a softer side of you that that is revealed. So they're gonna soften you up. <laughs> In the extended, we'll look into what's the biggest obstacle that's coming between you and your love interest in the future. We'll ask. What is the future outlook for this connection in the next two weeks? What's the biggest factor that's benefiting this connection? And we'll ask, what is the love interest looking for from this connection? The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.